Okay, so you saw right. We have officially put our home up for sale. Now, if you've been with us for a while, you kind of know the backstory, but bear with me for a minute because I want to catch everyone up because this is going to be an amazing journey. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. But I just want to get everybody up like on the same speed of how we even how we even got here. That's why I was like, don't say wait till the end. Uh, I got a surprise. Yeah, the house is up for sale. But I do want to share with you how we even got here and how we got up to this point. Okay, so we are here by way of the military. My husband is retired military. And before we actually got to this place, we have been moving every three years. And to be honest, y'all, I really enjoy that, especially after going through what I've went through here. Like I have accumulated a lot of stuff. But when you move every three years like this, this gets, gives you time to purge, get rid of things that you know you're not gonna use. Now I do like a little spring uh, cleaning, a little fall cleanup, some stuff like that. But this has really forced me to stop and be like, you know you don't need that. You know you ain't gonna do nothing with it. Get, get rid of it. So we have have been at Goodwill like nonstop. But we got to this area and for all my military spouses, I want y'all to comment, leave comments. In my experience, when you're overseas, the job market is just a little bit, um, people are rotating in and out. So it's, it's still competitive, but it's not as competitive when you get stateside. So we got here to the Savannah area and it took me seriously like almost a little bit over a year to find like a job that I like, one that I'm still at now because oftentimes the people who stay in that area, they hold those jobs. And then the job that I'm at now is not like a lot of military people there. Um, I didn't get a chance to use my military preference. So it was really like, it took a lot of me like nonstop every week, just putting in resumes. And then I finally got this job. And lo and behold, once I got on this job, we were going into year two. Um, and then my husband received more orders. So we had to make a really hard choice. Do we want to pack up and stay again? Uh, do we want to pack up and leave again? or do we want to stay? And again, I had finally got my foot in the door, was on the job. And so we chose very hard decision to just stay put because the kids were in school. Now, don't get me wrong. When the military tells you it's time to go, it's time to go. You know, we can't be like, well, I want to stay here for the kids. You know, it's, it's time to go. But I did have that choice we, we, because we had bought this home. And so I made the choice. Uh, Chris got orders, he went, he came back, but then he got orders somewhere else. And so he was commuting here to see us on the weekend and then I was commuting work. So it was like during some years, it was just a lot. It was a lot, but okay, we're gonna fast forward y'all. So the kids graduated and then we also used like, you know, let the kids graduate. And so now all of the kids were out of the house, you know, because we had been talking about moving for some years. All the kids were out of the house and we really had become complacent. But let me tell y'all what happened to how this even, how this even got started. Like y'all not gonna believe this, but it's true. I'm not making this up, but this is exactly what happened. So we were sitting here, the kids came down for Christmas, uh, they came down, they stayed, they left. So we were, Chris and I was sitting here at the table and he likes to travel. And that is one of the reasons why we're moving out of this area because we want to be where like if we travel, we don't have to, you know, take too many connecting flights or we don't have to drive three, four hours. Like we have the Savannah airport, but they only go to like certain places. Like most of the times you still got to go like to Atlanta and then wherever you're going to go. So we were sitting here. He was trying to get a flight to New York and it just, I guess it was just one of those nights where things just did not go well for him. And he just straight up spazzed, <laughs> spazzed out. He said he was tired of being here. He was ready to move. And so 
I'm the type of person, okay, make sure this is what you want because I can execute on it and I will make it happen. So even the following weeks, I was like, you sure? And to be honest, like, we don't have any family down here. We had, um, I had my cousin down here, but I was working so much to where I really didn't get to see her either. So once she moved away, like, we're just here. We're just here. So long story short, um, after he had such a hard time getting the flight, things were going on uh, at the airport and he forgot he had to drive to Charleston airport. He told the people, uh, take him back to Savannah airport. And then remember, no, I forgot I drove to Charleston. So that just like, you know, I was like, okay, first of the year, I am going to make things happen. So you need to be ready because Chris is the type of person where he will say one thing and I get on him about this all the time and then change his mind. So I always say, are you sure? Are you sure? Because I am just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to make it happen. So at this point, I really focused on getting the house together, decluttering. I called the kids quite a few times to tell them off about the way they left things during Christmas. And, you know, when I felt that it was at a point, like I have to, I'm the type of person where I have to write things down. So I wrote down a date. I said, this date, I don't care where I'm at in the process. I am calling the realtor companies because that will also make me move and do what I say I'm going to do. So I wrote that date down. And sure enough, February 1st is when I call the realtors. Now, I, what I will tell you is things got real and they got real, real fast, like moving. I didn't think things were gonna go back that fast, but that was good, like I needed that. So that way I would make sure that I'm accountable and that I would do what I say I was gonna do when I was gonna do it. So now we're at the point of showing the home and we've had a lot of um, prospective buyers come by and it's really getting real. Like I told Chris, we like, I feel like we're almost there with preparedness, but it's just, guess what? Finding where we're going to stay temporarily. And I say temporarily be because everywhere that we went in the United States and we bought a home, we kind of felt like we were rushed, you know, and didn't get enough time to like take our time. And so this time I'm willing to stay somewhere temporarily, which is what we decided. And then um, go ahead and just really look and really focus on the things that we have written down that we are looking for in a home. I won't say we won't ever move again um, because you never know what may happen. Like maybe something better comes along and we may move again, but I'm still like, these are the things that I'm looking for. And y'all know one of the things is like more garden space. I want more space um, to be able to grow more. And then Chris wrote down some of the things that he is looking for. So we're just going to really take our time. We have um, contacted realtors in the area that we're looking for, which is the outskirts of Atlanta, because we won't be right at our hometown, but it won't be four hours away either. So that's what we've been doing. Now, the sad part is y'all, the sad part to me is I know that I can't take all of this garden and stuff with me, like the raised beds, like the pergola, like the, I'm looking outside now because there's some things I'm like, I'm taking uh, like some of my pots and then other things I was like, there's no way I can move that. So I'm really hoping that whoever buys this home loves gardening as much as I do or has been wanting to garden. And this is like the po perfect place for them um, to get started. So ever since we decided that we were going to move, I have not, I started some seeds, but I haven't started like I normally start each season. And then what I am about to do, and I'll take y'all along with me, is I have a lot of seeds that are like container variety. Now, again, y'all, I don't know where we're going to stay but I'm hoping I can take a few of my containers with me. If not, I'm gonna make a way. I'm, I'm gonna make a way if I gotta put them up under a grow light. Like, I just feel like you just can't ask me to stop gardening like 
all together. Like I'm gonna have to grow something. You see these <laughs> house plants um, behind me? Like I gotta grow something. I mean, that's just like, yeah, asking somebody who loves something that they do to just stop and just turn away for a few months. Um, but yeah, we are gonna have to leave things. So I'm just kind of going, I'm still maintaining the garden. The things that I have started from seed, I'm just putting them in the garden still, but I'm not like, you know, normally in January and February, my grow room is full, but see, I had to clear that out. And uh, it's a lot of things that I had to like not do this year. So it's going to be a great adventure. I do invite y'all to follow along with us. Like we're going to go together to look at properties, to uh, where our new temporary place is. Like I'm going to uh, make sure that I share all of that with you because it is going to be a process. It's going to be a great journey. I'm just excited because I do want to take my time wherever we go and just really map things out on how I want it because I've learned so much over the years um, when it comes to placement and when it comes to uh, like the irrigation, like I've learned so much and I want to put those practices into place as well and just make it right the first time. Y'all just don't know how many times I've had to redo things because uh, I did it and then I'm like, mm, no, I don't like it and it should be there. So I'm really going to just make sure I take my time, even if I have to do it in little sections one by one. But that's the big news. Again, go ahead, hit the subscribe button because this is going to be a great, it's going to be a really great journey. I'm excited. Um, I'm always excited to go and live somewhere new and learn that place. Um, now the movers with the storage, they're going to have a time. They are, they're going to have a, a time. They've already came and did like a console. And I tell you, that was very interesting, but we're, we're going to get it all moved. Um, I'll keep y'all posted because so far there are some of my planters, like my self watering planters that I'm like. I'm taking. I'm taking with me because I love those containers. So I don't know if I'll take it with me to the new place or take it with me, meaning like the storage. So I'm going to do that. A lot of the fruit trees that I planted, I'm, I'm pretty much almost decided that I'm going to leave them behind and hopefully they will bear lots of new fruit for the new home owner or owners. And um, yeah, so that is the secret that I have been wanting to tell y'all, but I didn't want to tell you and then like renege on what I was saying. But uh, and a couple of times, like today, like Chris is like, well, and I was like, Chris, we, we already, the for sale sign is out there. We're not finna do this right now. Like I have to tell, we not, it's, it's no backing out. Unless it's just like a strong feeling from, from both of us. It's like, mm, I don't think so. The market is, um, it is a seller's market. In my opinion, right now we have been looking and just haven't found like, you know how when you're house hunting, something may have one thing, but then maybe not something else. So it's, it's just like, I'm willing to negotiate, but there are just some things that I'm not going to negotiate with. And that is the the, the outdoor space. You know, I'm I'm at a point now where the kids are grown, so I, we don't have to have like this big, you know, all of these big things. Um, just give me a decent sized kitchen because I love to cook. I love to create. Like I'm in the kitchen most of the time and a nice space to grow. Lots of things, lots and lots of things. So follow along with us, y'all. It's going to be fun. Um, I'll keep you posted. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. If you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.